Hello to everyone, Denise Kozer here. In this video I want to show you how to work with Corona Proxy and Corona Scatter. If you wish more interesting videos, please subscribe on my channel and uh, this will motivate me for recording this. Let's start. First of all I want to create a plane which uh, will be the ground for my forest. Next, as you can see, this model is a heavy model. It cost for me uh, something like two millions of polygons. And if I will copy just uh, like this on my plane it will be very hard for my computer so uh, to help it uh, I can use Corona Scatter to make it more easier so first of all I prepare Corona Proxy it will save this model on my computer hard drive and uh, load it into the scene from it. So I just pick and name it like maybe 3, 2, save, ok, a few seconds and here we are. I have my Corona proxy with uh, the tree saved on the hard drive and I don't need this tree model anymore. So I will delete it from my scene and um, after autosave will complete, we will return. So I delete it from my scene and as you can see now I have only 32 polys in my max file so let's create corona scatter and now just make few settings so distribute an object I choose my plane next instance objects I choose my tree model that converted to corona proxy uh, here I can make it appear in more or a little bit so maybe a one and uh, for some another model I can make frequency frequency to 1 and it will appear more in my scene so I will return it next enable or disable it is simple you can check the button avoid collision and I will uh, show you how it works so it uh, generates something like um, energy shield above the model and uh, you can see it in your eyes so I just convert it to Corona from the ray Okay. And now it should work. Here we are. If I enable avoid collisions, three will not intersect each other and uh, 
you see the result if I make spacing number lower it will intersect each other to 50 percent next I can make some transformations on the x-axis I can rotate it from minus 5 to maybe 10 here maybe minus 10 to 8 it will make some random rotation on this axis so it appears more realistic and um, by the axis I can make from 0 to 360 and it will look much interesting next we can change the translation maybe to z-axis from 0 to minus 500 and uh, they will sit more in the ground next important to say that if we get some curve shape of the ground and uh, if you wish the tree will uh, grow not by the normal but uh, in the Z axis you need to check the button and I will show you now which is it here align frame to normal if we uncheck it so the trees will no more grow like this and uh, they will grow normally as we wish them to grow so it looks now much better you can uh, change the scale from maybe 80 to 120 and they will appear more realistic here you can change the displayed percentage which will appear in your viewport and uh, that's all about corona proxy and scatter uh, what you need to know to begin use these tools i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, if you have some suggestions or questions please write it in the comments and um, subscribe to my channel see you next time bye